one of the most important dynasty of medieval northern india their disappearance set the stage for muslim conquest of northern india how did the pratiharas influence the history of medieval india hello and welcome to upsc history view today let's learn about the pratiharas the gurjara pratihara dynasty was the line of harichandra who ruled in mandor marwar during the 6th to 9th century ce generally with feudatory status the line of nagavatta ruled first at ujjain and later at kannauj during the 8th to 11th centuries other gurjara lines existed but they did not take the surname pratihara The origin of the Gurjaras is uncertain. A view once widely held was that they entered India in the wake of Hephthalites or the White Huns or Hunas who had invaded India in the 5th century and were connected with the Khazars. Now, however, most historians believe the Gurjaras had an indigenous origin. The name Gurjara does not appear before the end of the 6th century. The relation of the earlier Harichandra line with the later and more important line of Nagabhatta is uncertain. The founder of the later line Nagabhatta I in 8th century appears to have ruled in Malwa and his grand nephew Bhatsaraja is attested as king of Ujjain in 783. Bhatsaraja suffered a great defeat at the hands of the Rashtrakutas. and both he and his son nagabhatta too seem to have accepted rashtrakuta suzerainty for a time in the complicated and badly documented wars of the early 9th century involving pratiharas rashtrakutas and palas nagabhatta too played an important part about 816 he invaded the indo gangetic plain and captured kannauj from the local king chakrayodha who had the protection of the pala ruler dharmapala With the power of the Rashtrakutas weakened, Nagabhatta II became the most powerful ruler of northern India and established his new capital at Kannauj. Nagabhatta II was succeeded by his son Ramabhadra about 833, who after a brief reign was succeeded by his son Mihira Bhoja about 836. Under Bhoja and his successor Mahendra Pala, who reigned from 890 to 910, The Pratihara Empire reached its peak of prosperity and power. The extent of its territory rivaled that of the Guptas and in the time of Mahendra Pala reached from Gujarat and Kathiawat to northern Bengal though most of it was loosely held under vassal kings. After the death of Mahendra Pala the succession is obscure. The power of the Pratiharas was apparently weakened by dynastic strife. It was further diminished as a result of a great raid from the Deccan led by the Rashtrakuta king Indra III, who about 916 sacked Kannauj. Under a succession of rather obscure kings, the Pratiharas never regained their former influence. Their feudatories became more and more powerful. one by one throwing off their allegiance until by the end of the 10th century the pratiharas control little more than the gangetic doab their last important king rajyapala was driven from kanauj by mahmud of ghazna in 1018 and was later killed by the forces of the chandela king vidyadhara for about a generation longer A small Pratihara principality apparently survived in the areas of Allahabad. The Pratiharas were the most important dynasty of medieval northern India and their disappearance marked a stage in the political decline that accompanied the Muslim conquest. Thank you for listening to the Gurjara Pratihara dynasty of medieval India. For more such discussions get the UPSC practice app from the App Store.